wanted to show the difference between a Uni 3 and the Uni Pro and you can see okay the tables are a different height but if I get down here you can see that the Uni 3 is a lot smaller than the Uni Pro. So there are quite a few differences between the Uni 3 and the Uni Pro and I wanted to go through them with you today so that you can think if you are thinking of buying either of these ovens thought it would be helpful to show you both the ovens together so you can see them and you can also see the size difference between the two. The first thing I wanted to say about these ovens is that the budget. The Uni 3 is a lot cheaper than the Uni Pro. Depends on your budget really. I mean the Uni Pro is about £199 or dollars and the Uni Pro is about £500 dollars. There's a £300 difference between the two. How much you're going to use it? If you're going to use it a lot then that needs to be considered if you're just going to use it occasionally as well. The size as you can see they are different sizes this is i'd say it's more than double the size of the uni 3 and the height there's a big difference in the height compared to this one that makes a big difference when you're cooking the bigger the oven the further away your pizza will be from the coals at the back or the fire at the back when you're cooking and you've got more room you can pull your pizza forward in the uni pro in the uni 3 there's not much room to maneuver so if your cooking area is extremely hot and the flames are really coming over there's not much I've cremated a lot of pizzas in the uni 3 compared to the uni pro because of the lack of space having more space in the uni allows you to manage your pizza better because you've got more room to play with the uni 3 runs off wood pellets and gas and that's it you can't put charcoal or lump wood in the uni 3 so you have two fuel options and they're very good fuel options and they work really well in the uni 3 there are a lot more fuel options in the uni pro for example, you can have lump wood, charcoal, logs, wood pellets, and the gas burner. I don't use the gas burner in the Uni Pro. I only use the gas burner in the Uni 3. I don't really like using the wood pellets in the Uni Pro, but I do like using the wood pellets in the Uni 3. I really do think that this Uni Pro works exceedingly well with log and lumpwood charcoal and that's what I use the most in the Uni Pro and cooking with lumpwood and charcoal is a completely different experience to using wood pellets but I have enjoyed using the wood, real wood and the charcoal more than using the wood pellets. The reason why I don't use wood pellets in the Uni Pro is because I just prefer using the wood pellets in the Uni 3. The Uni 3 is a smaller oven and it gives that really good fast cook. I found so far that the pellets in the Uni Pro have been a bit more challenging because the oven is bigger and I spend most of my time running back and forward filling the pellet holder up even with an additional chute so I find it's much easier to just put a log in and just let it go. So if I'm going to use wood pellets, I'm, I'm going to use the Uni 3. And I use the Uni Pro mostly for logs and lump wood, charcoal. I also really like using the gas in the Uni 3. It is brilliant. It's so fast. If it's a day where you think there's a possibility that you could get caught in the rain whilst you're cooking your pizza or you just want to quickly pop out and make a pizza. The gas is brilliant because it's very quick to warm up and it's very quick to cool down and it's not messy and you can just quickly make a pizza with the gas. And it's it's got a really good cook in it as well. Portability, I mean the, the selling point for the unis is the, the fact that you can pick them up and take them with you to places where you'd like to cook. With the Uni 3 that's fantastic because you can just pack it away, take it up to a mountain where you want to do a nice pizza or wherever you want to go, the beach, and 
that size is perfect for moving around. I can also carry it into my garage. It's really easy to, to pick up. It's very light. I have no problems with the Uni 3 for portability. It's spot on. With the Uni Pro, on the other hand, I find it very heavy, even without the stones in there and I don't carry it around. I mean, it is portable. I mean, that you can carry it if you wanted to. I have it on wheels and I wheel it around to where I need it. So I don't have to carry the oven. The difference between the two, other than what I've already said, there is a big difference with the doors. You get a lot more doors in the Uni Pro. You get this pizza door. I don't know what they are. I can't get them off. <laughs> they must be my finger marks, but I, I don't know what I had on my fingers. It's like stained it. So you get a pizza door with a thermometer which I find really helpful when you're warming up your stones and you're warming up the oven. So it gives you some air temperature guidance which is really fantastic. And so you've got that door, you've got this pizza door or no door. I, I normally use no door. I find this pizza door find it hard to manage my pizza because I can't see the pizza being cooked in there. I'd rather just cook without the door to be honest. I think if it's really windy I put the door on because it helps tame the flames inside. Whereas with the Uni 3 you've just got the door, the one door and that door has to be on when you use the wood pellets because the heat goes out of the chimney when you're using wood pellets you've got to take the chimney lid off and what happens is you can't really see your cook <laughs> so you don't know what's going on in there you can hear it crackling and hissing but you're pretty much guessing and if you like cooking like that then that's absolutely fine I found it quite challenging to cook with the door on and not be able to see where um, if my pizza was um, overcooking that's the only downside. I suppose you could cook with the wood pellet door off. I don't think I've ever done it. However, with the gas, I cook with the door off and I love cooking with the door off. You put the chimney lid on with the gas and you can see what you're cooking and you've got more control over your pizza. Overall, I've been using the Uni 3 for over a year now. I've been using the Uni Pro for three months. I learned to cook in the Uni 3 and I improved my pizza skills in the Uni Pro. If I was starting off again cooking pizza and learning to cook from scratch like I did with the V3, I would have preferred to have started off in the Uni Pro. I think it would have been easier for me because there's more room in the oven and you've got more control over the flame hitting the crust. However, with the Uni 3, even though the flames were hitting the crust harsher in there, um, the tops of the pizzas were being cooked really well. The difference is the crusts get cooked really quickly in the Uni 3 and you've got to do very fast turns. Whereas in the Uni Pro, the crusts are a bit slower because you've got more room and you've got more control, but the top doesn't seem to cook as nicely as it does in the Uni 3. But overall, I've had more successful pizza cooks in the Pro so far than I have with the Uni 3. And that's that's it. I can't think of anything else that, that would help you make a decision on which oven you would like to use. If you want to cook with real logs then it's the Uni Pro. If you don't mind cooking with pellets and gas then the Uni 3 is fine and does a good job. At the end of the day they both cook really good pizzas at really high temperatures. They both do the same thing but just in different ways. They're both fun and that's what it's about. Pizza, fun. If you've got the budget, I mean I would personally go for the Pro because you've got more options with the fuel, with real wood and lump wood charcoal and you can buy the additional gas burner if you want to. I haven't because I've already got the gas burner option for the Uni 3 and also you've got the option of using pellets. So they both do the same job, they both make pizzas at a very high oven temperature and that's what it's all about so yeah hope you found this helpful and enjoy your pizza making and don't do what I did and accidentally melt your kindling plastic bag on the top of the oven. Although it is coming off, it's, it's getting better. Yeah, it's not as bad as it was.